All right, today on Passport Kings, we talking about Brazilian money. Engage. All right, so everybody always has a lot of questions about the money for their vacation. It's like, how much should I take? How do I take it? How to convert it? And how do I get it when I'm in Rio? And can I use credit cards? All right, so the Brazilian currency is called the real. Uh, that's real in Portuguese, but that's singular. Plural is called hey ice, and you're gonna need it because the U.S. dollar that's not that's not legal tender in Brazil. I mean, it can be used for small tips, like if you're if you need some money real quick, or to buy them little trinkets and tourist crap. All right, so prices marked in like the dollar sign USD. Those are American US dollars, but in Brazil you're gonna see you're gonna see like a R with a dollar sign. That's real. Hey, eyes. But just know in Brazil, like when you have a US dollar, you usually put the dollar sign in front of it. In Brazil, they put the dollar sign after the the amount. And also they reverse the use of commas. So you know, like if you put a thousand dollars, you put one then a comma the zero zero zero. Well, if they, if you want to say a thousand dollars in reals, hey ice, it'll be one period, three zeros, comma, and then two zeros. All right, so how much American money should you keep while you're in Brazil? We suggest that you take a little bit of cash, maybe, I mean, maybe like a bunch of dollar bills just so you can tip people and you can buy, like I said, that tourist attraction crap. So there will be a time in the beginning and after the trip where you will be uh, transferring your money from payouts to US dollars. But the money that you want to exchange in Brazil, it can be the large dollars, like $100, $50, $20. Just remember that you'll probably have to exchange the entire bill. All right, so the United States, it limits your transfer of cash to about $10,000. All right, so if you got more than that, then you're gonna have to uh, register your money with customs. And you know what? The Brazilian government it has the same exact limit, $10,000. Yeah, so since this is one of the few methods that is that makes you able to bring that type of money into Brazil, it is done, but um, not often. But of course, it's kind of silly to um, walk around that type of money in cash anyway, so just use caution, you know what I mean? All right, but in most cases, yo, just tell them how much money you got, and because if they do catch you, you get in a lot of trouble, y'all. They might, they might even deport you. They could lock you up, y'all. So just, if, I mean, my suggestion is don't even take that kind of money with you. Just um, before you even leave the U.S., just transfer a lot of the money in a um, foreign exchange if you hadn't taken care of that already. All right, so you want to know how much should you exchange? Well, rule of thumb is you lose money no matter when you exchange money. It's just it's just like that, man. Whether it's to buy um, hay owls or just to get your U.S. money back, you still gonna lose some money. All right, so try your best to estimate what you're gonna need and then only exchange that amount of money. You really don't want to be going up to the ATM every every few days or every couple of hours, you know? So try to get all that exchange so you don't even have to go deal with them ATMs because the ATMs are a little bit different than, than what they are in the U.S., but I'll get into that in a minute. All right, so you will use cash for like street purchases, beach purchases, and like cabs and, and little snacks and, and small shopping and some entertainment, some entertainment and for tipping. But you should only use your credit cards for like for your hotel, for stores at the shopping mall, and some of the major restaurants. But that's it. So as a rule of thumb, I'd, I'd say uh, take about $50 per person per day. And that should be able to get you your food, your relaxation, your entertainment, everything, just so you can have a worry-free worry -free vacation. I mean, you should allow more if you got some planned uh, special events coming up that you're gonna pay for, or if you're gonna go to like the fanciest restaurants, take a little bit more money than that. But but usually just take about 50 bucks per day. But like I said, don't trust them ATMs, man. They're very hard to find, and then when you do find one, you, you just gonna have to hope that it's working. All right, so here's a, is a, a real good tip. Make sure you take about 500 extra dollars with you. All right, and this $500, it shouldn't be touched at all. All right, so that $500, that's just your backup plan because, you know, you never know. So be safe, you know what I mean? Just have just have that in cash. When you go to the hotel, stick it in the safe, man. And when I mean, that's not nothing for you to carry around when you be walking around with $500 in your pocket. You don't need that much. Um, your main goal with this $500 is to take it back home with you. 
that that would mean that there was no incidentals, you know? So don't put it in no luggage. Women, don't put it in your purse. And only take it out if you absolutely need it. Like say, say if you find some some play or something that you want to go to, or something better. Uh, just um, have it with you for that one time. But usually during the day when you're just strolling along the beach or whatever, uh, leave, that, leave it in the house in the safe, all right? All right, so when you're shopping in Brazil, things that like that takes a lot of labor to create, those don't cost as much as you might be used to in the U.S. But anything that have to be imported to Brazil, that's probably gonna cost you a little bit more money, especially electronics. Don't be going out there talking about you gonna buy a PlayStation 4, man, because it's gonna cost more than if you would've brought it in the States. But like wine and stuff like that, if it's born in, um, if it's born in South America, it might be cheap. But if you're getting wine and and liquor and beer from from the U.S., then it's gonna cost more than what you're used to in the U.S. So, but like I said, um, if you gotta go to the ATM, remember to go to the bank, man, because you, you're not gonna just find a random uh, ATM machine standing around. I don't know if a lot of things have changed recently, but usually you can't find an ATM just sitting in the middle of nowhere. You're gonna have to go to the bank to use it. And a lot of times them ATMs, they don't, they don't even got that much cash in it, so you're gonna have to deal with what you got. And like I said, exchange that money at the, at the customs, at the airport. Well, if you ever took a cruise to Mexico, you know how the banks look, uh, how the ATMs look in there. You just go into that like little small booth. You slide your door, you slide your card to get in the door. Slide it. I mean, I know I wasn't supposed to be spending uh, ATM cash in the freaking um, in Mexico either, but I had to use it at that time. So um, that's what happened. You just go into a little ATM booth, and then you slide your card to get in. You slide your card at the machine. You you tell them that you don't want. Um, you don't want U.S. money. You want the currency of the place that you're at right now. And in Brazil's place, that'll be you want hey ass. All right, so Brazil does have some power shortages, right? So when you go to some ATMs, it might say 24 hours, but remember, them joints is gonna close like 10 o'clock or something like that. So get your, if you go if you're gonna be partying all night, get your cash early. But like I said, keep your cash. One of the best places to go is Banco de Brazil. They'll take care of you in there. If you, like I said, if you gotta get cash, but my whole point of this video is telling you, make sure you got the money that you need, but man, I mean, before you even uh, get off the plane, make sure you got the cash, I mean, the hay ice that you need before you get off the plane. But if worst come to worst, you can always go get some money off a credit card by just going to the bank, filling out some paperwork, and then they'll give you a cash advance. But if you like bank at one of the very large banks, like Bank of America, um, like Chase, things like that, if you bank at one of those banks, then it's a good idea for you to just uh, tra transfer some money to reals in in America before you leave, like I said. I mean, but I do recommend that you have at least one debit card or one credit card with you at all times. Keep it in your pocket only if you're going to a bank to, to get some cash out. But usually, your best bet is to keep it in the room safe so nobody can get to it. Just as soon as you, as soon as you unpack, you throw your stuff on the bed, throw your car in the safe, lock that joint up, and hopefully you can leave it in there for the rest of your trip. Don't even bother with traveler's checks. Them joints, they just, they suck in the U.S., they suck all over the country. Travelers, uh, all over the world, actually, they suck. They just, a headache that when you go to the store, the people don't know what to do with it. Same thing like in the U.S., if you see some foreigners that come here and they trying to pay for things with traveler's checks because somebody done talked them into it, it's always a hassle. So. Don't even, don't even bother with traveler's checks. Remember, most things that you want to do is cheaper in Brazil. So you can, I mean, buy food and go to the night spots. You can, you can do all of that and it'll be a lot cheaper than what you used to pay in the U.S. Alright, so in Brazil, the denomination of bills, they're pretty familiar if you uh, know U.S. money pretty well. They have 100 hay ice, they have 50 hay ice, they have 20 hay ice, they got 10 hay ice, they have 5, two and one hay ice, which is a hay owl if it's one. In addition, they got coins like one cents. They have one cents, five cents, 10 cents, 25 cents, 50 cents, and of course they got the one real coin. The, the 100 hay ice bills, um, they are available, but they're always kind of hard to cash, so try, try your best to stay away from those. All right, so on the day right before you leave to go to Brazil, check out the exchange rate at the Banco de Brazil. Just Google it. I'm looking for the exchange rate of the U.S. to the Brazil. Hey, guys. And the answer you get is going to represent the average. Like I said, you go to different places, you might find 
a different exchange rate. But yo, don't don't use that Banco. I mean, I know I said uh, use Banco de Brazil, but that's out in the streets. Don't use the joint that's in the baggage claim area, cause their their prices are ridiculous. That's and what I mean is when you walk out of the plane, you walk out of customs, and you're picking up your bags. Don't use those exchange places. Use it either inside the airport or outside at the bank on the streets. They see you coming out the um, airport, and they ready to get you. <laughs> So every time you're about to exchange some money, pull that, that Google search out that you did, see if the exchange rate is somewhere around the same. You don't want to get ripped off with that exchange rate too much. I mean, I know you got money to burn because you're a ball and all that, but why give the money away when you don't have to? Try to exchange it for as close to what it's uh, traded for as possible. Uh, use use one of them banks that has the like the big yellow lights and they usually have that that Cirrus sign on it you know the Cirrus sign that you see in most ATMs in the US and of course emergency cash can be gotten from Western Union if you go out there and you blow through your money on the first night <laughs> yo just um call somebody at home tell them they can use Western Union Western Union and they can get some money to you fast all right, so down below, I'm going to give you a quick map about the regular prices for regular things like liquor, um, cab rides, and um, I don't know, just the little knickknacks like dinner and things like that. You just look in the comments below, get that little link, follow that, and then you'll you'll get some type of idea of what the price range is for the, just the little day-to-day -day personal things that you might need. But in the meantime. Um, and also go down below my page and subscribe to Passport Kings. You know, we still putting this process on. I'm dead tired right now, as you probably could have uh, imagined, because I got I got to fly out tomorrow again back to Dallas. I just got back in, and I just wanted to make sure that I got my video out in time, because one thing that is most important to me, I feel, is consistency. When you say you're going to do something, you should always do it, and I always told y'all that I'm going to make a video every Wednesday. So I'm gonna make these videos every Wednesday and I mean rain, sleet, or snow, tiredness, happiness, jolliness, I'm in the middle of Antarctica or somewhere. I'm gonna make these videos. And you know what? Um in a couple of weeks, not even weeks, in a couple of days, I'm gonna put up a little um a little survey. And I want y'all to tell me what y'all think should be my next um visit places to visit. I was all hyped about going to DR. But with all the recent, um, with all the recent news about them kicking all the Haitians out and all this, and they getting all violent with the dark-skinned people of the country, that joint is a real turnoff to me, man. I'll be going out and out in the world. I want to spread love. I want to get love. I just want to have a good time. I want to be able to leave the U.S. and and just experience different cultures, get away from this racism, man. I'm so sick and tired of this racism. I mean, it's like they. I won't say they, but it's being thrown in our faces all day long. So when I go out of the country, I'm trying to at least get a vacation. It might not be a vacation from what most people are used to, but it's a vacation just from the from the constant onslaught of racism, violence, hate, just the madness that be going on in the world. So if you like me and you want to be a passport king, you can make some money, you can travel, you travel to all the hot spots like I'm gonna be going. Um, sign, sign up to Passport Kings, that's www.passportkings.com slash contact us. There's a little form on the, on the left side of the screen and you can fill that in. One is for my um, mailing list where I'll send you some important information that you can use every week. I'll send that to you every week. And, but then on the other side of the page is the information to become a Passport King under... Or you, you'll join Paycation, but you'll be under the Passport Kings battle sign and battle cry and we're gonna we're gonna ride this joint on to the future and get this money get this travel on but oh yeah I forgot like I was saying um, I'm gonna put up the little um, the little survey it's not really a survey poll I'm gonna put up the poll where y'all can tell me what spots y'all wanna see the passport kings at what's the other countries y'all want me to go to I'm all open for it I got a whole bunch of free time and a bunch of travel time and I'm gonna be able to go wherever y'all y'all think is the best places for me to go so look out for that poll I'm gonna put it up on my um on my Facebook group BM travel to Brazil Costa Rica anywhere that passports are needed I'm gonna put it on my other group which is called travel abroad y'all can follow me on Facebook that's facebook.com slash passport kings my personal page is facebook.com slash passport rock like me on Facebook 
follow me on Twitter, check out PassportKings.com, subscribe to this page, look out for new videos every Wednesday. Alright, so there's, there's this word called perseverance. That means when things aren't going your way, you're still trying. People who persevere, they get what they want every time. You know why? Because even when they're told no, in the back of their mind, they're like, it, it, I'm going to be told yes eventually. And guess what? You will. So just keep on persevering. If people are throwing crap at you, trying to mess up your, your hustle, throw you off your grind, don't pay them dudes no mind. Yo. Just keep persevering. Perseverance is the attribute of a king. A passport king. I'll talk to y'all next week, man. Peace. And yeah, the hundred uh, react the the hundred hey ice bills.